start with a new subject that is computer. Let me introduce myself. I am Ms. Pratiksha teacher and I will be teaching you the computer subject for standard 3rd. Parts of computer. The very first lesson is part of, parts of computer. Before going to that, did you remember last year we have gone into the lab, there were so many computers, right? You have done the practicals also. So, just one, once I will take revision. What is this? This one is computer, right? How our body is the, our body is the collection of different types of body parts, right? The same way, computer is the collection of the parts. But which parts? They are here. CPU, mouse, keyboard, monitor. This four parts, when it's come together, when it's connected together, then it is called as a computer. CPU, right? The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. Okay, I will give this in the notes. CPU is the brain of the computer. CPU is the brain of the computer. So, whatever we are typing, we are listening songs, music, whatever we are doing, it is getting stored in CPU. Keyboard, what is the use of keyboard? With the help of keyboard, what we are doing? We are typing. So, the third one is mouse. This is the mouse which is connected to CPU. So, our last part is monitor. Monitor means the screen. Okay. M O N I T O R. Monitor. Mouse, with the help of mouse and keyboard, whatever actions we are doing, it will show you on the monitor. So, CPU, mouse, keyboard, and monitor. This four are the parts of computer when it's connected to a when it's connected to each other that time a computer forms so children that was the revised revised part now we are going to start the third standard computer and the part of the then the lesson name is parts of computer this is your book for the third standard third it base okay it's good no yes we are going to start learning now lesson number first is there on the page number 6. Children, computer is an amazing machine that can do different types of work. Correct? It is doing near about all types of work. Means typing, uh, we can play games, we can search information, we can uh, draw, we can paint, we can do calculations. Okay, we can do so many things on the computer. So, they have given us all the information what we can do on the computer. In the previous class, we have learned uses of computer in different fields. They are used almost in every sphere of life. Okay? Computers are used everywhere. Like it is used in schools, it is used in banks, it is used in the offices. If you go on the railway station to buy a railway ticket, that person is working on the computer and it will give you the ticket. Means wherever you will go in the shop, in the mall, wherever, there you can see the computer. It is really nowadays a very important part of our life. So, here they have given us use of computers in different fields. That diagram we will study. See student, figure 1.1. Use of computers in different fields. Okay, here they have given us different field. We'll start it from here. See, you can see the computer in the office, in the hospitals, in the designing, banks, animated movies, airport, defense, space research. In this, all the fields we can use the computer. 